Well, our family's been in Australia since my great great grandfather. Thomas Roderick came to Australia in the 1860s, but they bought this land holding in 1870. And they would have been daring in some capacity since then, but really commercially for the last three generations, probably 80 years. It's the beautiful weather. It's the great place to, to live and work, but also the ability for us to produce a product into a local domestic market where we can enjoy a, a small premium at times, then that, that for us is why we like dairying in Queensland. In the Queensland industry, there's around about 460 farms and, and around about 175,000 cows um, that provide uh, the, the year-round milk supply that we achieve in our region. The bulk of our farms are on the Darling Downs in the southeast Queensland area, with a couple of pockets in uh, central Queensland and north Queensland. We produce our milk year-round because we supply a domestic market, so we produce that 365 days a year. Feeding in a subtropical area is extremely important because there's times a year where the cows can't graze because it's either too hot or too humid, or we don't have the paddock feed available. We've moved a lot of our feeding systems to partial mix rations and total mix rations. We're actually growing crops and forages that we can harvest and store as either silage or hay and feed back during those periods of the time where we, we're short of pasture that we can graze. The partial mix ration on our farm, we, we look to maximise cows in early production. So we have two herds. We have the fresh herd that is fed a, a slightly different ration and a higher energy and higher protein ration to maximise milk production early in lactation. The challenges for the subtropical environment are around those summer and, and autumn periods when the heat and humidity really gets to its peak. Some of those challenges can be feed intake, cow comfort, but also we see a drop in fertility at those times. So there's been an increase in the last five years in the number of farms and the, and the research that's been conducted into cow comfort, particularly around compost barns, freestall barns, um, fully housed type systems to, to reduce the effects of heat and humidity and, and high rainfall. The benefits of growing feed here in Queensland, particularly in, in the summer, is our high growth rates. I think the challenges of growing the feed up here is, is really managing the quality, and the quality by quality I mean is the fibre levels. We basically do the research for the northern dairy industry or certainly for the subtropical region. Growing feed is easy. The issue here is growing quality feed. The reason why we've done all of this is to create higher energy forage sources and higher crude protein forage sources. In the trials that we are currently conducting here, we're pushing the boundaries where we're achieving around 90% forage intake with only 10% grain and protein meal. Primarily the cows are run by myself. The farming side of things run by Dad in conjunction with me. Also off the farm, my mother still is heavily involved in the farm by doing the book work and the administration side of things. And then we have a number of staff that uh, give us a hand. At the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries, they do a range of trials of some of the crops and, and pastures that we're growing under different conditions. They also harvest them at different growing stages and work out their different nutritional value based on that growth stage. Farmers are now learning a lot more than I think they would have ever traditionally because we're able to capture research and deliver it to farmers. For us, there is an incentive to produce high quality milk. That incentive comes in the form of extra payment for increased fat and protein, but most of our incentives involved in the quality parameters around milk. We work closely with our milk processor in, in regards to formulating what we need to supply and how we supply that pattern of supply. And then also we, we get regular updates on our quality of our milk in, in order to receive our quality bonuses. All milk processors in the subtropical region, and in fact across Australia, all apply the Australian standard as a bare minimum. But in fact, the quality systems that all the milk processors put in place far exceed that standard. The expertise in the, the Queensland 
dairy research development and extension team is world renowned, particularly in that uh, feeding systems area. We've had a long association with the department through their research station and through the university. And we've seen a great benefit over that time for us learning from them and then dare I say them learning from us at times. The current trials are an excellent example of the DAF team showing great leadership in this dairy industry.